in this short series of videos, what myself and Ed are hoping to do is just to show you the members of Rookery Park the way we feel that you should be preparing to play certain holes on the golf course. Here we see it today on hole number one at Rookery Park, a 374 yard par four. So if we move to the tee now, let me talk you through how I would think on this tee shot. As I mentioned, a 374 yard par four. Quite a nice, easy opening tee shot. The fairway is nice and wide. The only bunker is over on the left hand side. Which is wanted by a good buddy, Shane here, is about 215 yards. So it shouldn't really cause me too much of a problem. I see the difficulty here more is on lining up. It's quite an open area, and there really isn't much to aim at. drive down here just beyond the bunker on the left I've got about 140 yards to go into a flag that's slightly left of centre. The key thing here for me is not to miss the green on the left hand side. The trouble is on the left, the flag is on the left. I don't want to be what we call short siding myself here. If I'm going to miss the green at all, right side leaves me a much much easier chip shot. So the key thing here I'm actually going to aim at the flag bit of a left to right wind if the ball drifts slightly it's moving into the safe area of the green. So that's what I've got in mind. The key thing now is to choose a club that's going to go the correct yardage. I've selected my seven iron and make sure that I aim myself correctly now directly on the flag stick. So let's give it a go. Okay, so we've hit a good second shot in there. I've just hit it to the right of the flag on the right hand side of the green there. As I mentioned from the fairway, the big thing here is not to miss the green on the left hand side. Number one, let's say the flag is slightly left of centre. If I miss the green anywhere to the left here, I've got very little green to work with and not off a great lie. You know, this is where all the traffic goes off to the next tee, so there's not a lot of good lies to be found here. So the last thing we want is a poor lie, chip over a bunker to a very tight pin, first hole of the day. That's not a good recipe for a, a good start to your round. So I've tried to use my natural fade to just aim at the flag and let it drift to the right hand side and that's what I've done. I've left myself now with a medium length putt and an uphill putt. So we'll go and have a look at the green now. So we're on the green here. I'm going to mark my golf ball. Because again, in these winter conditions, I want to make the ball, make sure that the ball is clean and it's dry. And also, when I'm replacing it, I marked my golf ball here with a little blue line. I'm now going to aim that blue line where I want to start the golf ball. So for this putt here, I'd say it's just on the right edge of the hole. So as I place the ball back down, the blue line aims at the right edge of the hole. That's going to help me now align my putter blade on the correct line. Now I've done my practicing on the putting green before I came out, so I know the pace of the greens, I'm comfortable with that. So it's now just a question of just making a nice confident stroke, giving the ball a chance, so I'm looking to roll it about six to 12 inches past the hole. Okay, I pushed it a little bit, a little bit to the right, but I'm happy with that pace. We'll just go forward now and tap the ball in, and that's a nice, safe 